Hello, welcome back. Today I'm at the Riverside Cemetery in Denver, Colorado. We're going to be visiting the grave of a five-year-old boy, George Eaton, who was tragically killed by an elephant. So I'm going to tell you about his story as we go look for his grave. Manhattan Beach was one of Denver's first amusement parks and was located on the north shore of Sloan's Lake. It was considered the largest amusement park west of the Mississippi. Open to the public for the first time on June 17, 1881, it had a roller coaster, a dance hall, a ferris wheel, boating attractions, hot air balloon rides, wrestling bears, contortionists, aerial acts including a human cannonball, a man who walked on ceilings, and exhibits displaying more than 40 species of animals. A total of 10,000 visitors traveled from all around Colorado by way of horse, buggy, and streetcar for the grand opening. Its biggest draw to the park was Roger the Elephant. Roger carried children on his back, taking them around the park. He was described as having the kindest deposition. But the park would be forever changed on one fateful day July 4th, 1891. According to a news article on the Rocky Mountain News, Roger had gotten spooked by an ascending hot air balloon, broke away from his trainer, and bucked off five-year-old George Eaton. The child was then trampled and crushed on by Roger and died in front of his parents, younger brother, and hundreds of witnesses. The newspaper article read, and I warn you it's a little graphic, at a little after four o'clock yesterday afternoon at Manhattan Beach, George W. Eaton, the six-year-old son of Presley Eaton, was trampled upon and instantly killed by the elephant Roger. The animal had become frightened and broke away from the keeper, throwing the boy from his back where the lad was riding with companions. The other children escaped without serious injury. The keeper, wounded and bleeding from a blow from the trunk of the frightened brute, heroically endeavoring to restrain the animal, and called to the crowd to keep back and not add to the excitement of the roused beast. The seat upon which the children sat began to sway backward and forward like a surf tossed by angry waves. The children began to scream with terror and cry for help. The crowd shouted to the little ones to hold tight. Then one fell to the ground. The elephant towered above the prostrate form. The huge foot of the animal was above the boy's head. It descended upon the white forehead. A human life was blotted out. There are pale cheeks of women, dashed faces of men, murmurs of horror from all the crowd. But above all can be heard the agonized shrieks of one who was with a mother's quick eye of love has seen that it was her boy. She would fly to his side, but is restrained by those about her. After the fatal incident, it was reported that Roger the elephant was shot and killed by his trainer and buried. It has been a big urban legend here in Denver that Roger's bear body was buried beneath what is now an abandoned King Super's grocery store of a parking lot in Edgewater. Well, whether you grew up hearing the story or just learned about it, a lot of you are wondering about the fate of Roger the elephant. So the story goes that Roger is buried near Sloan's Lake beneath an abandoned supermarket, put to death because he stomped and killed a little boy. This is an old Denver legend. Last night we verified the tragic accident at the long gone amusement park. But what happened to Roger? Brandon Ritterman is back to verify. Let's see where we're at. Old newspaper articles and death records provide proof that little George Eaton was killed by the elephant just before his sixth birthday at the Manhattan Beach Amusement Park, 4th of July weekend, 1891. 
But there's still that second part of this legend, that the tragedy caused the trainer to shoot, kill, and bury Roger the Elephant. He's supposedly still under this abandoned supermarket. There's my father up there. George's nearest surviving relative told us his grandfather, George's dad, was ready to do the deed himself. He wanted to kill the elephant. He went crazy. Wanted to get a gun and kill the elephant. But... Some men kept him from doing that, held him back, and I imagine he was very distraught too, just like uh, my grandmother, but uh, they kept him from doing that. In the Denver Library, Roger's trail went cold. The card catalog had no more mentions of him in news articles. We needed a lucky break. And that's when David Forsyth overheard us talking about the legend. That Roger was put to death um, pretty soon after that and buried in a swamp near the park. David's writing a book on old amusement parks. He says we're right to be skeptical of the legend that Roger was shot and buried. If that had happened, he says, Manhattan Beach wouldn't have done it quietly. They would have sold tickets. There were a lot of amusement parks and amusement places that would make big spectacles out of, you know, executing rogue elephants. There's evidence to support that. When the Central Park Zoo in New York put down tip, it ended up in the Denver papers. In Baltimore, they killed sport by public hanging, and this silent film taken by the Edison Company shows the electrocution of Topsy. We're gonna freeze it right there. If you look up the rest, I promise you'll never be able to unsee it. It turns out, though, David had more than just skepticism. Yeah. He found something yeah. a few months after Roger's deadly accident. Roger was still alive. David was researching the Zoo Wars, a fight around this time between Manhattan Beach and another park, Elitch Gardens. And it was an actual standoff in the street between park workers, hired guns, and one elephant named Roger. And the newspaper mentions him specifically as being one of the defenses uh, that was at Manhattan Beach and fighting off the Elitch's people. So the idea that uh, he was just taken out back and shot by his trainer or something, totally false? It, it didn't happen. This one's a checkbook. David suggested we go to History Colorado. They've got two boxes of records from the family that owned Manhattan Beach. There are papers uh, from the family that owned the park talking about selling other animals. Does that say a load of beaver? We found those records, but nothing on Roger. Horses. Then we found a little white envelope. Oh my God. Tucked in a ledger that the archivist somehow missed. It had been glued shut for a century. It's a meat envelope. Bust. Just a bunch of receipts for meat, probably for the lions. History Colorado did have one more thing for us to try, a digital tool for searching old newspapers. We found the Denver Daily News was sympathetic to Roger in an article the following winter. Old Roger, the elephant who was an innocent cause of a boy's death last spring, didn't seem to have outgrown sorrow for the sad event. We also found ads for the next season at Manhattan Beach, still naming Roger the star attraction. The annual bath of Roger the elephant. That proves the park thought Roger was worth more alive than dead. In the end, no one seemed to blame the elephant for the killing of little George Eaton. Why would you blame the elephant? was just something that happened. Roger's trainer left Denver a couple years after the tragedy. Multiple experts on circus history told us the trainer probably took Roger with him and changed his name. If that's what happened, we may never find documented proof. I can't say what happened to him, um, but, but he was not immediately put to death like the story always has been. <laughs> Roger may not be buried in Colorado, but part of this legend is. Manhattan Beach continued on without its main attraction, Roger. However, competition from nearby Elitch Gardens and White City, the latter eventually becoming Lakeside Amusement Park, and mishaps marked its existence. In 1908, Manhattan Beach was damaged by fire Later that year, it was rebuilt and opened as Luna Park. It closed for the final time in 1914. So 
So little George's grave is coming up here. You see son of P and H Eaton killed at Manhattan Beach, July 5th, 1891, aged five years, 11 months, 16 days. So he was almost six years old. And actually, I believe the date was July 4th, so maybe that's a mistake on the headstone, I don't know. Yes, just a very sad, and tragic story. I can't even imagine what that was like for the parents or all the people there that day. Rest in peace, little George. Okay, this is my son Daniel, who is going to be four soon, and he wanted to leave George a little gift. He wanted to leave him some Play Doh. Right here, right here. Right here. Good job, honey. Hope you enjoyed that video and getting to see the grave of George Eaton. Please like and subscribe for some more videos and I'll see you at the next grave. Thanks.